I can see two! Two paramotorists to head dead ahead. Secured helmet and harness and fairing, I've checked already. Air is clear behind and facing in a safe direction. Yes, Mike is over there. Okay, ignition going on. Clipper up. Right, engine is running. So, my friend Mike, don't know if that camera will see it, has joined me. And uh, we're going to go for a local flight around Taunton and then uh, go and see the Wellington Monument and then come back here. It's about an hour's flight, 30 miles. It's a gorgeous evening, it's absolutely red hot and I just can't wait to get in the air because I'm sweating buckets. So, uh, so let's go. Thumbs up from the wingman. Okay, helmet harness secure. Uh, altimeters reset. Fuel sufficient for the flight, I've got 10.9. Awareness runway in use is to do with wind that's going to be backing and veering all evening. Approach uh, is clear and the controls are full and free. And I'm happy with that. Uh, power, I won't do power because I'm going to blast in behind me, but I know it's good and eventualities are as normal with this runway. Uh, and this crosswind will take me turning to the right. Okay. Okay. Let's we'll do a quick power check. Our neutral. Far coming forward. Climbing away. Gaining speed. And I'm just going to loop around, back around so that I can join Mike and I'm going to climb in behind him. Bob the farmer, he is awesome. So, so Mike and I have got two different machines. His is called a Blackbird, but it's basically a PB. But also he hasn't got the hang point mod, so his is trimmed to fly slower, which is why I'm able to catch up with him. But we planned this flight to make sure that there are contingencies so that we don't need to talk to each other. But the other difference is, he's got a bigger propeller on his. He's got a 140 propeller and I've only got a 130. Which seems to be making quite a considerable difference in the climb. So as I said, we're, uh, we're heading off to Taunton now. Can't see him. <laughs> Gonna S turn left. So on this flight, to try and stay with Mike, I've actually got to keep pushing out on the bar. I suppose I could have redone the hang point. And I cannot believe how warm it is, because I am normally wearing gloves every time I fly, anywhere I fly, thin, thick, whatever. Today, it's just gorgeous to be able to just have my hands out. Just can't see him. Where is he? Bloody hell, he's all the way up there. So we've now located Mike. He's about a thousand feet above me, which is why I couldn't see him. He's all the way up there. So as per the uh, air regulations, I've already agreed with Mike that if we do come into close formation that uh, I would formate on him and we've already agreed a separation distance. That all applies if I can actually get to him. I don't know if the camera can see that, but he is just a long way up there. That 140 prop seems to make a heck of a difference. This has just been one of those days where you just want to make sure that you get in the air safely because it's just been so hot on the ground you're just tired but this is actually quite refreshing to uh, to be up here now got a t-shirt on underneath this only that's it <laughs> you see me <laughs> we're both on the same pressure setting so i'm assuming by the height that i'm at 1960. yeah we're yeah we're gonna be up at 2000 feet above takeoff <laughs> So 
now we're at the uh, at the same height. It should uh, make the flight a little bit more interesting. Yeah, dead on 2,000. Oh, I lost two feet. So I'm not sure the camera can see all of the detail, but this is uh, the wonderful town of Taunton, Somerset. And off to my uh, off to my left is Burnham on Sea, the Burnham Sea, Burnham -on -Sea estuary. And if I carried on the same heading, I would uh, fly to one of the Royal Naval Air Stations, Merrifield, which is dead ahead. Uh, it's about 10 nautical miles ahead of me now. So our flight is going to take us around the outskirts of the town so that we don't uh, get penned in and have na no land out options because there isn't really many land out options from that height or even at, we're at 2,000 feet I don't know how far I could glide so it's just safer for us to go around the outside outskirts and then up on the ridge line over there is Wellington Monument uh, I can just see from here as well which is great for navving it's a great little route 30 miles, just under an hour, um, and then uh, and then we're going to head back to the farm strip. I hope he's not getting too much of my prop wash because he's directly behind me. The thing about flying as a, as a pair, and I found this more so with the paramotoring, is that you've got to brief everything on the ground as if you do not have any communication. So you're doing something and they know exactly what you're doing and the reason why you're doing it. So Mike knows that if I do a sudden turn away, it's not that he's to follow me, it's because I'm trying to eat up some distance to stay with him. A gorgeous evening, yeah. 20 past seven at night, no gloves while flying, flying with a mate, what more can you ask for? I think one of the paramotoring guys that got in touch with me, Jay, you live around here somewhere don't you? Can't quite see your house. Oh wow. What is not to like? So that is the Wellington Monument. It's a really useful uh, landmark. And uh, yeah. it's quite nice to see. And it's quite nice to see that it's being restored. So we're about 500 feet. So anyway, we're gonna be heading off now back to, uh, back to the farm. And I think I can see a paramotorist. I can see two! Two paramotorists ahead, dead ahead. Quite cool. <laughs> They're two of the local paramotorists I know. So I kept clear of them, but got the distinctive uh, universal leg wave. Right, and now we're heading back to Tolland with a nice little tailwind. I see my friend's house, it's at Wiveliscombe. Oh, that's no, Wellington behind me. Wiveliscombe's down there.
Oh, what a wonderful evening. Chase down some paramotors. We've been paramotoring today, flying with a friend on another PV, and I'm not wearing gloves because the air is that warm. The wind is so light, it doesn't make any difference down the runway. And this is a fantastic evening, it's great. So Tolland is now five miles away. And I've managed to catch up with Mike. Right, so uh, we're back up at 1800 feet. So I'm getting the feeling Mike likes to fly really high. And uh, I'm gonna use some of that height, you know, convert to speed, we just pull the bar in and uh, zoom on back. Right, let's uh, do the pre-joining checks so I don't have to worry about it later on. Uh, six litres in the tank, which is more than enough to do 10Ks. And have a go around if required. Uh, straps are secure, helmet is secure. No need for radios, but we'll be looking out. Mike is behind me and I'm number one to land out of us. And then uh, go from there. So for this, what we've agreed is I'll land first. And then once I've taxied off, he'll then start his approach to land as well. Again, it goes back to the whole planning thing of if we lose complete communication in any way visual, completely planned without the use of anything, any signals needed. The fact that we planned it as if there's two pilots flying this route individually, which happen to be going to the same place at the same time, but providing that element of deconfliction. Windsock appears to be down the runway at this moment in time. I'm learning that one. Right, relax Giles, come on. Forward flow flyby. It works, it works Giles, come on. Joining checks complete. Uh, Fast check six litres of fuel. No one's on final. Turning. Right, we're down. It's happy with that. Let's get off the runway for Mike. <laughs> Maybe it's off. Finish. Hi everyone, I hope you enjoyed that flight. Uh, Mike, did you have a good time? I had a fantastic time, thank you so much. We can't do that, we yeah. can do that. It was brilliant, thank you so much. Cool, He's, uh, he hasn't got a mic, but uh, but yeah, we just literally were, were grinning from ear to ear um, on that flight. It was 30 miles, bumped into some paramotorists I know on the way. Gav, just saying hi mate. And um, yeah, just the, the windsock is not even moving. The grass just falls at your feet, it's that light at the moment. So, uh, so yeah, so until, every, until next time everybody, Bye safe.